Hello YouTube, it's me TFR Wellness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the first of three videos that I'll be doing for the back end of the year. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's that time of the year where you uh, mention your worst or best bots that you got throughout the year. And uh, yes, I've got a table full of bots next to me with uh, 16 items uh, for my worst list, my worst bots of uh, 2021 well, first items of 2021, when we'll get into that when we get into the haul. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so this is the first of three videos I'll be doing. Um, obviously, last three days of the year. This video is going out on uh, Wednesday the 29th. Uh, tomorrow's video will be the top bots of the year, which um, are right there. <laughs> I've uh, cleared out the, uh, the details and put my... Uh, Top bots on the uh, on the top of the details and the worst bots will be going up there tomorrow when I do my uh, my best bots list. But today it's all about the worst that I got this year, about the dross, the junk, the trash, the the bots that you know disappointed me and upset me throughout the year. Now, um, as my videos tend to drag on a bit because I like to chit chat a little too much, um, I'm going to try and introduce try and do that. Um, YouTube have got that chapters feature on their videos. I'm going to try and put that on this video so that if you're one of those people who don't want to sit through me, you know, talking or chatting about the, the toys, they just want to see the actual list, then hopefully what I'll do is I will do a, I'll put chapter marks on this video so you can skip forward to the next one. I'll just show the bot and then talk about it. And hopefully that will, so that the people who've got no patience to sit through and watch an ugly mug like me, wittering on about uh, a load of plastic drunk then uh, yeah <laughs> i'll give you an option whereby you can skip forward and just get the just get the uh, just get the basic list um that's what i'm going to try and do with this anyway rather than doing a separate video and just go one two three four five you know um right uh yeah so um obviously these bots are bots that i bought this year um the reason I'm doing a top 12 is because every month I do the end of month bot haul uh, and at the end of the each video I do what I call the first and worst where I pick up I show up the first or the best bot that I got that month and the worst or the you know the, the least favorite bot I got in any given month. At the end of 12 months this gives me 12 bots, 12 first and worst bots, so that's that's two instant lists and I do throw in a couple of uh, in this case a couple of dishonorable mentions just to pad the video out. Now this video will obviously run out to over an hour <laughs> because like I said, I've got 16 items to get through, so let's crack on. Right, so number one, the uh, worst bot I got in January is this thing. This is a KO oversized Universe Cosmos. Now, the reason I bought this is because um, it transforms into a, a flying saucer that's almost a, a perfect wheel. And uh, I have got the Henke Universe Cosmos. And looking at the alt mode, it made me thinking it almost turns into a wheel. And, and you know, it may make a great basis to do a, you know, like a custom of a, a, a G1 Scrounge. Because if you read the G1 comic, Scrounge was that, that, that spy bot for the Autobots. And he transformed into a, like a yellow wheel. And I thought, well, it'd be great to turn... You know, uh, you know, Henke or Universe Cosmos into a, a G1, customize it into a G1 Scrounge. But I couldn't bear to, you know, deface my Universe or, or Henke um, Cosmos that I've got. So I wanted to, to get another one. I was looking to get a, a, an official toy, and then I found out that there was a, a KO, oversized KO of the mold. And I thought, well, that would make a better, a better target to use. So anyway, I bought it. It's a typical KO figure. You know, it's got loose joints, poor quality plastics, the whole nine yards. It's, it's a typical KO. And as you can see, I got this in January. We're now December. I have made no attempt to customise this into a G1 scrounge. <laughs> so, yeah, that's typical of me. I'm all, I'm all talk and no action when it comes to customising. number of times I've gone on a video and said, yeah, I'm going to do a custom of this into that. And it's like, it never, never happens. But anyway... So in January, this was the, the worst bot that I got, or when I looked at everything else I got. Um, yeah, so I got, I got a lot of Kingdom stuff in January, you know, Black Arachnia Cheetor, Vertebrate, Paleotrex, Warpath, Optimus Primal. Um, yeah, so it was, um, 
it was the worst thing that I got. Um, so, yeah. There is a dishonourable mention I got in January as well, and it was a bit, <laughs> bit, bit umming and ahhing about which was the worst figure, but because this is a KO and because it's the quality on it's so bad, it pipped the other one because the other one is, a, is an official figure. So, anyway, so that was the first figure. And uh, so in January, the worst bot I got in January was this uh, KO Oversized Universe Cosmos. Right, moving on to uh, February, I got hold of one of these. Transformers Crossover Top Gun Maverick. <sighs> right, I, I kind of got into the, doing these um, these um, crossover figures. You know, I got uh, I got uh, Ectotron, I got um, uh, you know uh, Gigawatt, um, and then I decided to get this. They, they, this. This is a crossover they were supposed to do with that 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 new Top Gun movie that was supposed to be coming out this year, but it's been delayed because of the COVID. Um, it was called uh, Top Gun Maverick. So they decided, and because the original Top Gun film came out you know, 35 years ago, um, let's do the crossover of that. And the alt mode is is good. It's a, it's an F-14 Tomcat, and that was the main reason why I bought it. Um, it's a pretty good plane former, but they've done it in this stupid sort of beige plastic with this dirty, you know, sort of mucky camo over it. And it just just doesn't look great in plane mode. I wish they'd done it as a clean jet rather than a dirty jet. And then the robot you end up with. Oh my god! I mean, the transformation is not fun. It, it's I had to transform this the other day because it was in you no know, alt mode in the box. And I had to get it out to transform it for this video. I had a right game. <laughs> I don't know if I'm losing my touch as a as a, a Transformers collector, being able to transform things off the cuff, you know. But uh, anyway, I really struggle with this guy, and it's got these stupid drain pipe legs, and it just. I mean, the head sculpt is okay. It's, it's got like Maverick's, you know, flying helmet, but he's got like a totally black face paint with a red visor, and there's, there's hardly any detail on the head. And the engineering on this thing is is not great. It's really not that good. And um, like I said, I'm I'm still sort of um and ah in the crossovers. I mean, I've got Dracula, so I passed on. Um, you know, um, Expanse, you know, the X-Men won because the X-Men don't work for me at all. So I've got no interest in getting that figure. But I've got this thing. Also, you can probably see this This bit's a bit crooked on the back because the um, the hinge joint is deformed on it. So it doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't transform properly. So, yeah, it's got some QC issues as well. But, yeah, it... It just the the plastic, the design, the plastic that they did on this. It just it just looks so bloody god awful, <laughs> to be honest. And it was easily the worst thing that I got in February. So that's uh, Transformers crossover Maverick. So right now this next one, um, this next one's a bit different because it's not actually a transforming toy. It's actually. A set of books. Now, hear me out. I'm going to say up front, I don't hate these books or this comic series, right? I don't hate it. But the whole point of me getting these was, um, well, you can see in there, Super Megatron, right? Last year I got that, uh, that Super Megatron figure. That Generation Select Super Megatron. Loved it to bits. It was on my top bot list last year. And I wanted to know how, how he came about. Now, I heard rumours that he was basically... Galvatron got converted back into Megatron and became Super Megatron. And I wanted to see how that happened. And they said, oh, it happened in the Japanese manga. So I decided to get the Japanese manga comics to find out how that happened. These have all been, you know... Um, they've all been, uh, you know, sort of, um, you know... I was going to say dubbed back into English, but they're not dubbed, are they? They've been uh, been translated back into English. Well, well they've been tra translated from Japanese into English, and they've been put in these these hardback volumes. Um, so I, I bought, I think, the first two volumes, and there was nothing in there for you know Super Megatron. So I, I ended up getting the third one. However, I was brought up with the Marvel G One UK comics. 
and, I, and that was my bible back in the day you know that was how i like transformer comics to be these <laughs> these were done as, as, as a comic strip that went into a like a, a a japanese sort of weekly magazine and uh the, the stories are very generic and the artwork is good but the the, the the stories some of the situations they they put the bots in and they always have that little some some little kid that's that's going along with them as well it just it just does not work for me i i, I am not a fan of, <laughs> of the way the japanese portrayed the transformers in comic form back in the day i do not like this at all i'm not saying it's bad there are people who obviously love this and all power to you but to me personally, this is definitely not to my taste. And I really regret buying these, you know, they weren't cheap. And I ended up buying all, you know, three volumes. I understand they're doing more of them, but I won't be buying any more. So I, I bought these and regretted it <laughs> when I started reading through them. Um, yeah, so <laughs> these are the worst items that I got in March. I know it's not a bot. But it is Transformer related. Um, yeah, so I got these books. Wish I hadn't, but you know, they're definitely not to my taste. Yeah, this is not, in my opinion, how Transformer comics should be, but I'm not saying they're bad. You know, there's people who obviously love this stuff, and you know, but it's not to my taste, and I, and I regret buying them. So this, in my opinion, was the worst thing that I got in March. The uh, Transformers manga volume one to three. Right, number four. Now, again, this is a, a bit of a weird one. Towards the end of the month, I mean, I got, um, I got hold of, um, you know, uh, I got hold of Kingdom Megatron, um, you know, Beast Megatron. And I was thinking, you know, I noticed that there was a, a bot bot that turned into a, a rubber duck. So I thought I wanted to get it as, you know, Megatron's rubber ducky. And there was a, and it, these, these were from the season three bot bots, which had been and gone by that time. And there's only a few sort of retailers that still had the old packs in stock. And uh, I wanted to buy a set with the, you know, the, with the, uh, you know, I think it's called uh, Quackles or something like that. And anyway, I wanted to get the one with the rubber duck in. And I was hunting around, hunting around, and I found a seller on eBay who was showing the pack with the set in. So I bought it. When it arrived... It was a pack that didn't have the character in that I wanted. It had a bunch of other characters in. And when I qu questioned the seller, the seller said, blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, it's just a random assortment. You'll get what you're given, you know. And I didn't get the random assortment that I wanted. So anyway, so out of the five bots that was in this bot bot pack, this guy is the one that was the worst. He's called You'll Be Bored. And uh, he basically, he transforms into a little TV set showing, you know, like a, a video of, you know, a log fire. <laughs> so, yeah, very basic. Out of all the, the five bot bots that came in this pack, this was the most basic one. And it's a little unfair to say that this is the worst thing I got in, you know, in, uh, what was it? What we're we talking about? We're talking about April. And, but yeah, I mean, when you look at the other things I got, I got a, a bunch of kingdom things third party studio series yeah and uh did i get any korean bots i don't know anyway so yeah <laughs> you'll be bored a little <laughs> little stupid little bot bot figure that i really didn't want but i got sent it because it was just a random assortment and it wasn't what i wanted and out of the five that i got this was the the, the most basic one of the, the bunch so he got the wooden spoon and ended up being the worst thing that i got in April. Right, May. Now, Cyberverse Battle Call Wild Wheel. Now, been watching the Cyberverse show, and there's a few new characters they introduced into it. One of them was Wild Will. He had that one episode where he he got a web episode all to himself. He was basically back in the you know Wild West. He was a, a, a member of Optimus's crew who was on Earth. Something happened. He got left behind, 
and the the other Autobots and Optimus, you know, sort of pissed off and left him, and uh, he was he was really uh, resentful about being abandoned, and then he worked his way through you know human history, and he became a, a sort of like a renegade or an outlaw in the Wild West, and took on this persona of a you know a sort of like a like a you know a high paint high plains drifter, you know, with his um his sort of you know what they call his duster on and you know hat and became a sharpshooter and and a, and, a, and a complete not a badass and he was an awesome character in the show but then they did this this line whereby they have this this gimmick I'll switch it on now you see he's got a little blinking light and uh, when you talk it it it, it sort of fl flickers and flashes and sort of uh, you know brighter and dimmer in as you talk um it's all right. It's a it's a gimmick. I mean, these things were bloody expensive when they came out. I mean, I managed to get this off Amazon for a slightly reduced price for less than twenty quid, but still, that was a lot of money. I mean, he's stupidly hollow. I mean, he's got he's got nothing inside his legs at all. He's got so hollow, so basic. I mean, his arms are like wafer thin and hollow as well. And yes, he's got the hat, but the hat, you know, you have to take it off to transform. And there's a good chance you're going to lose it. You know, it's. It's a thing, and because he had the electronics in that, that bumped his price up. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a shame that a, such a badass character like Wild Will should get, you know, given such a crap toy. You know, I kind of hope they would, you know, I mean, Cyberverse line is still technically carrying on, even though you've got that that four episode sort of movie series to for season four, and. Uh, and uh, they are still doing figures. You know, they are still bringing out new stuff for the line. And, and I reckon as it's the intermediate sort of Transformer line between sort of like, you know, sort of like Rescue Bots Academy, Cyberverse, and then you get the uh, the Generations line and then Studio Series and then Masterpiece. You know, it's it's sort of like an in between -y sort of Transformer, you know, for younger kids. And it's, it's coming to an end. And, you know, they need to... You know, bring up some. You, know, you need to invent something else to fill the void, and uh, they haven't quite got there yet. But anyway, it's just a shame that such a badass character in the show get given such a crap toy. <laughs> and it's it's all right. It's 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 a good representation of him, I suppose. He transforms into a little car. Yeah, he's got that stupid you no know, flashy light gimmick. But really, though, he's just it's just totally hollow and very lightweight and basic. And yeah. Very disappointing on the whole, and uh, he was the uh, the worst bot that I got in May. Right, moving on to June. First of the Korean toys. Tobot V Season Three, Captain Jack. Now, I was really looking forward to getting hold of this guy. Um, Initially, I was trying to get hold of him uh, back into last year, but you know because of the COVID, you know, uh, the, the eBay sellers jacked their price up, slapped on a, a you know they did away with the free shipping and, and slapped on a, a you know really expensive shipping fee, and it just made it expensive to buy this guy off eBay. So I had to put him on the back burner, and then this year, obviously, I've started buying bots exclusively from like G Market and 11th Street managed to get hold of this guy really looking forward to getting him his alt mode is amazing I love the alt mode I love his robot mode the aesthetic you know the, the pirate theme you know he's got he's got the hook he's got the hat you know he's got he's got this, this shark you know toki that um, plugs into his chest he looks so cool and yet this toy has been marred by an engineering you know, <laughs> I don't know how, how to describe it. Basically, the shoulders are locked. They do not move. The arm, that's the articulation on the arm. The arm can bend backwards, but it can't go forwards. And then you get like the elbow. So, the, the crap engineering. They, they did a mini version of this that has got working shoulders. How the hell they managed to do that? And when you look at the way the shoulders engineered, it would have been quite easy for them to engineer a working shoulder into the existing joint that's in here. And I don't understand why they did that. It's got it's got totally locked shoulders, and that is ridiculous, absolutely outrageous. I, I, to me, that little thing just just ruined the toy for me totally. I mean, he's got everything going for him. He, he looks amazing in both modes. 
you know, he's got a fun transformation. He's got like the two different. He's got like the the the, you know, the extra bits. You know, you take that off. You can have the. Um, you know, you got you got the standard mode. And then you you know you clip this in. Things pop out. Pull the spikes out. Bring the uh, the hook out. You know, he's he's got he's got like the he's got that that extension mode, and he's he's a cool looking bot, but. They, he's ruined, ruined by those locked shoulders. The fact that they couldn't have engineered a, an extra joint into the shoulders to make his shoulders work. And, you know, it just ruined the toy for me. It totally ruined. I was so disappointed in this thing when I got it and found that it, it got locked shoulders. I, I was really upset with this thing. Seriously, though. I mean, how they could have done that? I mean, the other toys in the line have got working shoulders. In fact... Strangely enough, another toy from the same line as this guy. Uh, I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, from from a later, a later wave that is, is 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 later on in the list. So, uh, yeah. So, Tobot V season two, Captain Jack. Is it season two? Yeah. So, yeah. It's amazing how w one design decision can ruin a toy. Right. Next, um, July. Now this guy, um, sometimes you'll get a month where, you know, I don't get a lot in. I mean, this particular month I only had eight items. And um, when you look at everything else I got, this guy was just, I don't hate him. It's just that when you look at everything else that I got in that particular month, they're just all better than he is. And strangely enough, I got the the sort of like the what would you call it the the the, the wave mate of this guy who's virtually identical. I got in the previous month and he he was okay, but uh, this guy, I don't know, he just he just didn't measure up to the rest of the things I got. I don't hate him; he's an okay toy, but when you look at everything else I got that month, it just it just just didn't measure up. Hello, Carbot. Hello, Carbot. Pager. Now, this guy, he's, he's a very basic bot. He's got very basic engineering. He's not, he's a bit short for a car bot figure. He's a bit small. And he's, you know, he's part of a combiner. And uh, because it, because he combines, you know, he's got some weird features like he's got like the, these are the fists for the uh, combiner mode are his feet. So he's got like these big clumpy sort of toes. Um, he's decently articulated. Hasn't got any what's it swivels but you know he's got basic articulation hasn't got a waist joint you know he's fairly basic and that, that that's just the thing everything else i got that month was just better than he was and i don't hate this thing he's an okay toy in himself you know he forms part of a combiner he's okay but he just he just didn't measure up and that's why he was the worst thing that i got in july it's not his fault <laughs> i don't blame him it's just that everything else was just better than he was. So, yeah, so he just drew, drew the short straw, got the uh, wooden spoon, and, uh, yeah, he ended up being the, the worst bot that I got that particular month. Right, moving along. August. Right. Pretty sizable haul in August. A um, couple of Kingdom figures, uh, some Studio Series stuff. And this is one that might appear on a bunch of people's worst lists this year. Kingdom Tracks. Now, <laughs> I mean, it was a, it was a for me it was a, it was a close run thing between him and Scorponok. Kingdom Scorponok, because he's not that great either, I think. But this guy, <sighs> it's the engineering on the legs. I mean, literally earlier on, before while I was preparing for this. Um, Video. I was trying to figure out what was the worst bot I got this year, and uh, I had a sh like a short list of about three or four bots, and he was one of them. And I had to transform him backwards and forwards into the car mode, and back to the robot mode to to see what was wrong with it. And the engineering on these legs, oh my god! I mean, the main problem with them is these. The foot is attached to this side panel that rotates around the leg. Right? It's supposed to clip in, but it doesn't. Right, it's super loose. 
He struggles to stand up. And then when you go to transform him, the, the, the engineering on the legs, it's ridiculous. You have to you know, flip open these panels and you have to move stuff around and you have to turn this thing back and you have to get it past the leg. And the, the tolerances and clearances, I know you're supposed to do it over the top of the, um, the hips. You're supposed to un uncollapse the body and then flip it over the top of the hips. But it took me a while to figure that out because you know, I like to do transformations without instructions. <laughs> But anyway, he's not great. He's really not great. Obviously, he's got a lot of transparent plastic on him like most Transformers do these days. But the engineer on the legs just, oh, what a game I had trying to transform this thing into vehicle mode. Not so bad going the other way, but yeah, no, 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 no. Absolute crap, absolute crap. I mean, I wanted to get him. I mean, I had watched some reviews before I bought this guy because I, 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 I'd seen some videos and you know people harping on about how bad it was. But I, I still went ahead and bought it because, you know, I wanted to go really deep into the uh, Kingdom line. He was another figure. I have got one or two tracks. I've got the um, obviously I've got a G1 tracks. I haven't got the Reveal the Shield one. Um, I've got the. Um, uh, what the alternators tracks? Um, have I got any more? I, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, engineering on the legs really, really did it in for this guy, and the rest of it is okay. But yeah, you know what's wrong with this thing. So he was the worst thing that I got in August. Now September. Another Korean toy. Turbot V Season 3, Zero Free, Jet Funder. Now, this guy. Um, I don't know what it is about him. He turns into a, a jet that kind of looks like, you know, like an A-10 tank bust, buster or a warthog. You know, that sort of like, a sort of a low-flying attack jet. But... His jet mode just doesn't look right. There's something about it just does not look, look right. And then you've got the kibble. You've got the wing kibble, right? So there are the wings of the jet mode. And they're just hinged out on the end of his arm. So you get these massive great panels. I mean, you, you, you can sort of stick them up like that if you wanted to, to give you a bit more clearance. But, you know, it's really not, really not great. He's got a great head sculpt. I love his head sculpt. He's got like these like aviator shades on. You know, he's got these really goggles on, and he look, looks really cool. But then, the the engineering on him. He's got like these stupidly short thighs and these massive shins, and his knees barely bend at all. And that just, I don't know. There's just he's got some clever weapon storage. He's got like these swords that. Uh, sort of plug into his legs that's pretty cool so he's not a complete you know basket case you know he has got some interesting features but on the whole i'm just not a fan of this guy the the alt mode doesn't look right i can't put my finger on it what it is it just doesn't look right and then when you get in the robot mode you know you've got you know the usual sort of you know sort of proportional issues the the Tobot line is, is is renowned for having these like short thighs and massive shins. It's like it's like a normal thing for them, and the kibble and it just on the, and and he's all molded in this grey plastic as well, which doesn't look fantastic. They could have molded it in a different colour, but they molded it in this and it, it, it even though it's shiny, it looks like that you know that that typical grey plastic they they run on Transformers. It's kind of like that. It's a little bit more. Know, solid and, and a bit more quality to it but still I really didn't like this thing at all and out of everything I got in September this was the worst thing that I got so that's uh, Tobot V Season 3 Jet Funder so October <laughs> yeah, uh, something I've got at the end of the month. Now, over the last couple of years, I've been noticing there's there's a, a Transformers toy line that, that, that kind of got overlooked by the majority of collectors. And it's um, 
It's the fast action battlers line. It, it came out for the first two movies, for the 2007 Transformers, you know, the movie, and then the um, <clears throat> uh, Revenge of the Fallen. And basically, they're, they're simplified uh, figures that have a built-in gimmick, but unlike later sort of gimmick toys that they did, you know, like the fast action battlers and stuff like that. Well, no, these are called the fast action battlers. You know, what was it? The um, what were the what were the other ones called? Anyway, the, the the later lines that they did for the later movies, where you know the the toys was was basically built around a gimmick, and the gimmick was you know, heavily compromised. You know, the transformation and the engineering on the toy. These ones is not so much the case. The the, the FAB toys. I've I've got a couple of them. Uh, I've got the blackout and the long haul, and, and they're absolutely amazing figures. So yeah, I was uh, keen to get some more. I was looking online. And I found a seller who had two um, two figures that I. I well, one figure that I wanted to get, and it came with another one, and it was the um, the what was it? The Fire Blast Optimus Prime, and it came with the uh, the Grapple Grip Mud Flap. So I got them, and they were okay. They weren't fantastic. They weren't as good as the other you know, fast action battle toys I had. So anyway, got this guy, fast action battle and mud flap. Um, now, uh, he's a bit crap. Um, look how hollow he is inside. You know his legs, are stupidly hollow. Um, he's got this flappy panel here, which um, comes detached very easily. And uh, then he's got his gimmick. Now he's got this. It's called grapple grip, and it's got this string that comes out. But it's not one of those ones that's on like, like a retractable string. It just, just hangs out like that. And then to pull it back, you have this other, other end of the string. And it, it goes through some sort of capster mechanism. And you pull it back in. But then you, you end up with a bit of string hanging out, whether it's in or whether it's out. You, know, you would have thought it would have had one. You know you can get those like little ratcheted sort of uh, winch things that you can get where you, you pull it out and you press a button and it retracts. Why they didn't you put one of those on this? Uh, th this thing, I mean, it's and it's a very basic figure. It's not got much in the, ar the way in the articulation. But then again, these fast action battles are like that. But this one is is particularly bad. He doesn't hold together too well. I mean, his shoulders keep flapping out. That panel keeps coming off like that. And yeah, it isn't fantastic. And. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> he was uh, shooing for worst bot I got in um, October. So that's um, Fast Action Battlers Grapple Grip Mud Flap. Then we get into November, and uh, I managed to go to the uh, MCM Comic Con at Birmingham and took a bunch of money. And uh, fortunately, In Demand Toys was there, and I made a bunch of purchases. And when I got home, I started messing around with them, and then I started playing around with this guy. And this is another guy that might appear on other people's worst lists of this year. Studio Series Jolt. Now, <laughs> I've before I did this video this afternoon, I decided to, again, I was trying to figure out which was the worst bot. Trax was one of them, this was another one. Um, Captain Jack was on that list as well. Um, which bot I hate, I mean, this is basically I'm trying to work out what's the worst bot I got this year, you know, the ultimate worst. This was guy was in, in the running for it. I had to transform this thing back to vehicle mode and then back to robot mode again. Oh my god, what a palaver. <sighs> this thing's awful to transform. Not so bad to transform from vehicle to robot, but when you go robot to vehicle, having to cram all this junk into the car mode and there's, there's no clearances on this thing at all none whatsoever it is so such tight tolerances on the parts when you're maneuvering them around and then you've got these stupid the sides of the car which are uh, attached to his thighs these kibble wings they barely move there's nowhere to put them and it's like what the hell you know he hasn't got a waist joint or has he yeah, he has got a waist joint, 
But these stupid kibble wings, I mean, well, kibble in general, he's got like the front of the car is on his shoulders. You know, he's got, it's, it's just not fun. It's just absolutely hellish to transform. I hate this thing. And has there ever been a decent jolt mold? I don't think there is. They're, they're all pretty marred in one way, shape or form, aren't they? So yeah, I uh, <laughs> I hate this thing. I really do. And I was reminded of that fact earlier on when I had to transform it backwards and forwards. What what a horrendous piece of crap this thing is. So yeah, that's the worst bot that I got in November. Studio Series Jolt. And then finally, we get on to December. And this is a bit of a... I suppose you could say it's a, a bit of a teaser for my end of month bot haul, which is coming in a couple of days' time. Because obviously I haven't showed you what bots I got this month. Well, I think I've done some reviews as the, the Korean toys. Uh, and obviously the figures that you saw in the unboxing videos. Um, so yeah. Right, so this figure is a figure that I got the other day. Because uh, I've on December 27th, like two days... Well, actually it was yesterday. Um, I... Uh, went over to um, NEC Toy Fair. So fortunately, the NEC Toy Fair was able to, to happen this uh, this year, in December. Um, I was very worried that you know the government after Christmas was gonna do one of those um, circuit breaker lockdowns, but they didn't, they've, they've held out. And fortunately, I was able to go to the NEC Toy Fair. I took I took a bit extra money with me and was able to, to buy a few things. And um, more recently, I've decided that I wanted to collect the Waspinator moulds. I'm not so much character mould set collecting Waspinator, but you know, I had the Thrilling 30s one, I've got the Kingdom one. Um, I've also got the animated one now. So I'm I'm thinking, uh, is there any more Waspinator moulds I need to get? And then it was like the, the Transmetal Waspinator. So I've been looking online to get hold of a Transmetal Waspinator and the prices that thing goes for is, is, is crazy. I mean, I've seen people asking for loose complete ones for like 60 quid and it's like, are you joking me? But anyway, going around the NEC Toy Fair, I went to the guy on the, the right wall, um, uh, King Street. Um, it's, it's like a toy shop in Wolverhampton called, called King Street Toys or something like that. I like to buy stuff from this guy. I have done many times before. I was going through his little tray of uh, loose bots and I found <laughs> I found what I was looking for Transmetal Waspinator now it wasn't until I got home and started messing with him uh, yeah <laughs> this isn't great mainly because of the the stupid bug legs you know you've got you've got the bug legs sort of hanging off and you know it's it's what you do with the bug's legs. You know, in robot mode, they have to be sort of like stuffed around the back. And this guy's a triple changer. He has like a jet mode as well as the you know his insect mode. And it's not that fun to transform or mess around with this thing. It doesn't work particularly well. And articulation-wise, it, it because he's so much stuff on his robot mode. You know, it it makes you know moving him around a bit a bit difficult he's kind of st stiff and barely moves so yeah <laughs> i'm not saying i've got boy's regret but you know i wanted to get this because i wanted to collect you know molds waspinator and i needed to get one of these and now that i've got it it's not that good it's really not that good uh, i still haven't got an original waspinator i'm kind of hoping um, that uh, you know Hasbro are going to reissue it as part of this these uh, 25th anniversary reissues they're doing of the original toys. I'm kind of hoping next year they're going to do um, reissue Waspinator, but we'll have to wait and see about that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> got me a Transmetal Waspinator, and he's not very good. And he's the worst bot I got this month in December. Right, so that's the, the main 12 out of the way. Now we've just got a couple of uh, dishonourable mentions. Now, the first dishonourable mention uh, in January. Transformers Authentics Bravo Ratchet. Now, <laughs> oh boy, this thing is wretched. Um, it was an impulse buy. I was out looking for a particular figure at B&M Home Stores. Um, what was he called? 
Hang on. Yeah, so it was the um, it was the your the Transformers Authentics Titan Changer Grimlock because I'd seen a video of somebody doing one on YouTube and I quite liked the look of it and I wanted to get hold of it and I knew I'd seen it in um, my local B and M home stores, so I went in there, found fortunately managed to find the the the, the Titan Changer Grimlock, but then I was looking around at the other toys and I saw this this little Authentics you know sort of Bravo class ratchet and I don't know there was something about it just just appealed to me it, you know it's ratchet i quite like ratchet but then i got it home and started messing with it oh this thing's awful this thing's dire it it barely moves i mean the arms are so chunky you know just it has got a ball joint so it's got you know effectively it's got like a bicep swivel on his on his arm but the legs are just got you know a ball jointed sort of waist joint and, and that's it and it transforms into an ambulance and it's all white, there's hardly any paint on it, you know. And yeah, this thing's wretched, it really is. Now this was in competition, if I can find him, what have I done with it? He was in competition with this guy for the worst part. And when I looked at him, this is an official toy. And as bad as it is, it hasn't it isn't made out of oh, you know, cheap and nasty plastic, it hasn't got, you know, crappy, you know, joints, crap tolerances, all that stuff, you know, it, this is a KO, this is an official toy, so, ipso facto, this is slightly better than this, that's why this was the worst bot I got in January, and this is, was a dishonourable mention, but still, this thing's pretty damn awful, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rotten, so yeah, um, Transformers Authentics Bravo Ratchet, Then we've got, yes, another figure that might appear on other people's worst lists of 2021, Kingdom RC. Yes, now I've got her here with her entire alt mode, apart from the back, because I, f uh, do the feet plug into the back? I can't remember. Anyway, so her entire alt mode is basically on her back and there she is <laughs> so <laughs> yeah i mean i got the alita one version I, I passed on the earth rise one because i wanted the alita one version and, and i got that and it's the same mold it's got the same issues um but that one is slightly better because it's alita one it's got a slightly different you know molded you know sort of torso and uh, it just looks better and I wanted another version, a more svelte or slimmer version of uh, Alita 1. And it, and it does that. But this, I mean, this is just a repack of the Earthrise figure. There's, there's, they've made no changes to it whatsoever. There was some complaints leveled at the Earthrise 1 for one, one reason or another. and uh, But they didn't make those changes to the Kingdom version. It's just a straight repack. And, yeah, it's a, it's a proper shell for me. I have to try and cram all this in, in under, underside the car mode. It's not great. It's really not great. You can remove, you know, the back part. You know, you can take it off and make it a slightly slimmer bot. I oh, we have to sort of fold those in. There you go. So yeah, you can make a slightly, slightly slimmer looking bot, but it doesn't transform, does it? Without without this thing. <laughs> So yeah, I, I was, again, it, it was that thing about I wanted to go deep into the Kingdom line and I thought, well, I don't need to buy this RC. I've got, I've got the, um, I've got the, the Generations one and she's all right. And I've also got the animated one recently and that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I don't, I didn't really need this. Um, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> RC. I bought one, I've got it, it's not that great, it really isn't, so that's why it's a dishonourable mention, and what was it up against? April. <laughs> yeah, it was up against, uh, it was up against this guy. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's that. So that's the second dishonourable mention. Right, the third one. Hello Carbot, 
Sky um, SWAT X. Now, this is a half decent toy, but my main gripe with this is Sky. Now, hello, if you know Hello Carbots, you'll know that Sky was was the the sole fembot that was in season one, and she had this um, her high end eye Vela Star, you know, sort of sports coupe car in orange that was looked look really really cool. And she had a decent robot mode. She looks pretty cool. But then they decided to bring back the G1, well, you know, like the, the season one crew for season nine with the, uh, you know, the, the with the, uh, they, you know, brought back the uh, Pentastorm combiner and they called it Pentastorm X. So they all had the X logo and, and they're all in their emergency vehicle forms. You know, like you had like um, uh, Ace was in his, you know, Ace, they call him Rescue Ace. And he was like a fire engine, Rescue Ace X. And then you had uh, Police Fron x and uh but then they did sky and yes sky had a repaint of her original sort of uh, sports car mode in uh, as a swap car and it looks really cool but then they gave her this they gave her this ugly carbuncle of a thing as a, a robot mode for the x series you know oh dear I can't stand the look of this thing, and, and in alt mode it doesn't get much better. It's just a, a just a really boxy, ugly looking SWAT truck, and it just looks awful. And she doesn't form that good an arm for the combiner either. <laughs> so on the whole, I mean, it, the build quality on this thing's great. You know, it's decently articulated. It's got you know, it's got it's got ratchets. You know, you know. It, it, Engineering wise, it's a decent toy. It's just aesthetic. It just, I can't stand the aesthetic on this. I don't know. I really hate what they did with her. You know, she, she should have had a, something that looked a lot better than this, you know, but they, they didn't. They, they, they gave us something so outrageously ugly. And I really don't like what they did with this toy. And, and that's why it's a dishonorable mention. And what was it up against? That was May. Oh, yeah, it's a wild wheel so yeah so she's up against wild wheel but you know this is still a better toy than the wild wheel toy you know it, it's solid it's got you know it's got ratchets it's got you know it's got decent amount of joints it's all nice and solid there's no hollowness on it you know it's but it's it's what they did with the character and i really don't like what they did to her and that's why it's a dishonorable mention and then finally, the final dishonourable mention of this year, Mini Force Sammy Bot. Yeah, so I decided the back end of this year to get the the Mini Force combiner from the original series, and uh, I noticed they'd reissued a lot of the toys both in Korea and they're doing you know they're they're reissuing it in China as well. So I managed to get hold of this guy. Didn't want this guy when he first came out. The aesthetic on him, it just just looks weird. I mean, he's got these super chunky legs, and he's got these like these little weedy thighs. It's the same with his arms. He's got like a like a, a fairly chunky arm and a weedy little, you know, sort of bicep. His robot mode just just does not look good. He's got these flappy shoulders. His knees don't work. You know, it's. I just don't like this thing, and and he, he splits in half to form a pair of legs for both you know both the two bot combiners and the four bot combiner. So he's got a decent amount of engineering on him for that, but it just a, it's just a shame that his robot mode looks so bad. He transforms into a, a, a sort of a boxy sort of fire engine. The, 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 the alt mode's okay. I mean, you can work, turn these legs round, and flip out these other feet and then when he's got working knees or you can go even further and uh, you can give him a, 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 a slightly more decent looking leg so he's got workarounds but on the whole I, I, I'm not really a fan of this guy not really And uh, sorry, you hear that? It's just the heater that's uh, ticking in the corner. 
because the firmness that's cut, cut in. Um, yeah, so yeah, really not a fan of this thing, but I, I bought it because I needed it for the combiner, and you know, it serves its purpose in that respect, but as a standalone bot, it's not that good. I mean, look how empty the arms are, look. There's nothing in the arms. It's got so many negative points I could level at this, this toy. But uh, November, who was he up against? Um, Studio Series Jolt. <laughs> so there you go. So that is that. That is my worst bots of 2021. Um, I think there's some fairly obvious ones in there, which might appear on other people's lists. But there's some surprises as well. And uh, yeah, so I've decided to do an ultimate worst over everything that I've got uh, at the end of the video. Um, I had some great difficulty in choosing this ultimate worst for this particular list because there was there's quite a few candidates. But it all boiled down to when I tried to transform this thing backwards and forwards from its alt mode just to see how bad it was. And in doing so, I reminded myself how rotten this toy is. So the ultimate worst bot that I got this year, Studio Series, what is he? Um, uh, what is he again? Uh, yeah, 75 Revenge of the Fallen Jolt. This thing is god awful. The the engineering on it, the kibble on it, you know, it's just it's just awful. It's just awful all round. And I wanted to buy it because you know I wanted to give it a go because I, I've I've had you know um, a jolt molds before. I've got the original jolt mold. I've had the Revenge of the Fallen one. Don't like those either. <laughs> so yeah. This was just like the third attempt at getting a Jolt figure. He's quite small as well, you know, it, but you know, trying to transform this thing into vehicle mode, it, 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 it's horrific, it really is. So many tight tolerances and trying to cram everything into the back of the alt mode. It's, it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And that's why he is my ultimate worst bot of 2021. So that's it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, if i remember i will try to put the chapters in so you can skip to the each of the bots uh, in turn to if you don't want to sit through me uh, rabbiting on actually i've got this done in under an hour so that's pretty good actually for me so yeah that's been me at tfr wilderness giving you my worst bots of 2021 um tomorrow uh, it will be the best bots those guys up there so uh yeah I've been TFL Wilderness, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Ta-da!